Hello. Let me just make sure that I am connected. Hello. Let me see. I don't know what's going on here, but listen. Facebook family. YouTube. Internet. When God doesn't give you A through Z. Man, listen. If you are anything like me, then you want steps A through Z. What's up, brother Mike? I'm going to tell you something. I not only want steps A through Z, I want you to give me all the steps and I want you to give them to me in order. Don't you, don't you dare miss a step. And you know what's so funny? The difference between my wife and I, you know, how we compliment each other is, let's say there's a, a something we need to make or put together. And she'll take the box, she'll dump all the components and all the pieces out and all the ingredients, uh, if it's food out, and then she'll just try to uh, put it together as best as she can. Where I, on the other hand, I'm going to read step one, I'm going to read step two, I'm going to read step three, I'm going to go all the way through the list, I'm not going to miss a step. I want all the directions. You know what, that's why I love driving a manual a manual car. You know, you shift the first, you shift the second, you shift the third, you know exactly what you're going to do, as opposed to just being in an automatic car. Uh, you know, I was picking my son up from school today, and I think we were going about 12 miles an hour, and I shifted over from automatic to manual, and we were in we were in sixth gear. I'm like, what? <laughs> this is crazy. When we go on a road trip, I tell my wife, you know, I'm driving, she's navigating. I say, okay, babe, you know, what do we do? You know, what are the directions? And she'll say, okay, in 2,000 feet, you're going to turn right on such and such street. And I'm like, okay, and then what? And there's always, and, and then what? And then then what? And then what? Because I want to know. I want to know every single direction. I want to know every step. I want to know every turn. When I look at them, when I look at the, you know, to navigate, I uh, like I've been using Waze lately, the Waze app on my phone. And what I hate is it gives you only like turn by turn navigation. So you literally, it, you know, it may tell you like, okay, in a thousand feet, you have to turn. Well, I want to know that, you know, five minutes ago, I want to know that I need to turn. I need to turn left. I need to turn right or do whatever I have to do. And so for me, I'll, I'll open it up to the directions and I'll look at, you know, every single step and then I'll try to memorize it so that I don't miss a step. The problem is most of the time, at least with me, the Lord doesn't work with me that way. He doesn't give me A through Z. And man, it is so frustrating. Ah! But I want all the steps. I want to know all the steps. I want to know every piece. I want to know every direction. And he doesn't give it all to me like that. I don't know if he works with you like that. He doesn't work with me like that. But you know, I was so blessed this week by something so simple. I was, in, I was actually in the Bible and I was reading 1 Samuel, um, the 16th chapter. And the Lord began to speak to a prophet by the name of Samuel. And he told him, I want you to go anoint uh, a new king. I've chosen a new king. And he said, you know, it's, I want you to go find Jesse, go to Bethlehem, find a man named Jesse. I've chosen one of his sons to be king because I have rejected Saul. And so Samuel did that. He went and he got to, you know, blah, blah, blah. He, around verse seven, he gets six, seven, he gets to Jesse. And uh, in, or in around verse seven, um, he looked at Jesse's first son and said, oh, my goodness, surely this has to be the one that God wants me to anoint as king. And God said, no, that's not him. Don't look at his outward appearance. See, man looks at the outward appearance, but God looks at the heart. And the Lord actually rejected that son. And so here we go. Uh, Jesse begins to bring another son before Samuel. Nope, that's not it. He brings another son before Samuel. Nope, that's not it. He brings another son. He does this seven times. And, and, and you know how the story goes. Finally, David comes out of the field and comes, and that is who God chose. Now, what was so simple but so profound that stuck out to me is here you have a prophet of the Lord that made it into the Bible, and God gave him an instruction to go to Bethlehem to find a man named Jesse because he has chosen one of his sons to become king. And Samuel did it. And that really blessed me because... Um, God knew the name of the son, but he didn't give Samuel the name of the son. He just gave him a few directions here 
And then Samuel had to walk those out. And after he's begin to walk those out, he got new instructions. And so if you are like me and you want steps A through Z, I just want to encourage you to just step out the boat like Peter when Jesus came, was walking on the water and just say, hey, come to me. Peter stepped out the boat. You know, he didn't have another direction or another direction. He just stepped out the boat. And so now that we're in 2018, I just want to encourage you to step out the boat. You know, as much as you and I think that we are great drivers driving that manual transmission, I guarantee you that God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the Godhead, is such a better driver than you or I could ever be. If we could just take our hands off and release control to the Holy Spirit, He's going to get us where we need to go. Now, I tell you, it's frustrating. We have to pay for patience, and we have to really allow our faith to rise. Uh, I, was, I was talking to my brother Mike this week, and you know, he asked me a question, something about similar to, you know, well, has God ever let you down or gave, gave you a reason not to trust him? And no, he's absolutely right. God has never failed me. He's never let me down. And you know what? He's never failed you and he's never let you down either. And so with that in mind, I, you know, I'll leave you with this. I remember I got a prophetic word. I know my wife can attest to this. And the Holy Spirit through the woman of God began to tell me the prophetic word. She said, you don't have to orchestrate everything. You don't have to figure out every single detail. He's in control. He's in control of the whole thing. And so I'm going to leave you with that. When God doesn't give you A through Z, don't worry. You don't need every detail. It doesn't need to be in order. Just step out the boat, release that control from your hands, and trust God that he knows what he's doing. You know, when Joseph, he gave Joseph that dream for many of us, we we would say that was, you know, Z. You know, he gave him a dream of how he's going to rule over all this. But he didn't give him all the little details and all the little steps and all the little trials and fiery furnaces he'd have to go through um, to get there. And that's how it happens with us. So listen, in 2018, take risks, step out the boat, release that control. When God doesn't give you steps A through Z, just take what he gives you and be obedient like Samuel did in first. Uh, Samuel chapter 16, it said, the Bible says, and Samuel went to Bethlehem. And I want to encourage you to go to wherever Bethlehem it is that God tells you to do, regardless of whether you have the next step, 30 steps, or even 60 steps more. Do it. And I promise you that God is going to get you where you need to be. Without faith, it is impossible to please God. But with it, you and I can move mountains. Hey, God bless you. I pray you have a great day. Peace.